Let's learn how to create a coin collection system in Unity and how to reflect it in your UI. First of all, welcome to the channel. I make content about game development, and if that's your cup of tea, I hope to see you around. Let's get into it. This is my scene without any logic attached. As you can see, I have some basic animations set up, but the player bumps into the coins and nothing is really happening here. So let's talk about the basic logic that we're trying to create. When the player collides with the coin, destroy the coin and count the number of coins that the player has. Since we're going to be using Unity's collision system, that means that our player and our coins need two things, some type of collider in a rigid body. Rigid bodies just add physics to a game object, and because we're going to be watching for collision, that means that our objects need to have physics even if they're not being influenced by gravity, like our coins. For our coins, I'm just going to be adding a box collider and bring out the edges a little bit because I want there to be a little bit of grace there for the player to collect the coin, and I'm also going to make sure that is trigger is set to true. For our player, since I'm using the character controller component, this actually comes with a built-in capsule collider and I already have a rigid body, so now I'm good to go. Now I need to make sure that Unity knows when the player is colliding specifically with a coin. My cat player here is going to be colliding with lots of objects all of the time, so I need to make sure that this logic is only applied when the player collides with a coin. To do this, I just need to create a new tag named coin and tag all of my coin objects. With everything set up in the editor, now it's time to program our logic. I'm going to go to our player object, select add component and new script, and I'm going to be naming my script coin collection. Heading over to Visual Studio, I'm going to go ahead and delete the start and update methods since I won't be needing them. Since I want to count the number of coins the player has, I need to create a variable to store that value. I'm going to make it private since I don't want it to show up in the inspector, and I'm going to make it an integer because we're only dealing with whole numbers here. I'm just going to name it coin and set its initial value to zero. Now I can start creating some of my logic. I'm just going to use private void on trigger enter, taking parameters of collider and other. And now this is where that tag comes in. So I'm going to say if other.transform.tag is equal to coin, remember this is case sensitive, add one to the coins value. And then we're gonna put a debug statement here to make sure that our logic is working. And then we want to destroy the coin to give the illusion that the player is picking it up. So we're just going to say destroy other dot game object. All right, let's save this script and go back to Unity. And it appears that I forgot to make sure that gravity was unchecked on my rigid body. So let's fix that real quick. Unchecking that and hitting play again, that looks much better. Now if I try to walk into the coins, the coins are disappearing and if you take a look at the console, you can see that they are incrementing as well. Now we just have to find a way to take that value and attach it to some UI. To do that, I'm going to need a UI canvas. So I'm going to right click in my hierarchy view, go to UI and then canvas. I'm going to rename it UI canvas just for clarity. It's getting a little crowded in here, so I'm just organizing some of these other items real quick so it's easier to see. What I really need here though is a text element, so I'm going to go to my canvas again, right click, go to UI, and then text-textmesh pro. I'm going to rename this to coin text, and as you can see, I'm not seeing anything in my scene view just yet. I can see it in my game view, however, which just means that I need to readjust my view. So if I double click on the text, I'll be taken right to it. Now I'm thinking I want this at the upper left, so I'm going to select that I want this to scale from the upper left hand side, and I'm going to place it where I want it on my canvas. Now I'm going to set some default text here saying coins colon zero, but now we need to attach this to our existing logic, so let's head back to Visual Studio. I'm going to create a public variable here to hold a data type of a text mesh pro element, and I'm just going to name it coin text. I have a Unity plugin for Visual Studio, so mine did this automatically, but you'll want to make sure that you're pulling in the TM Pro namespace from Unity. Now all I need to do is set my coin text to the value of coin and convert that to a string. To do that, I'm just going to say coin text, text is equal to, and I want the label here, which is why I'm putting it in quotations. So I'm going to say coin colon plus the value of coin and then to string. And there you have it. And now there's just one small thing left that we have to do to get this working. Let's go back to Unity. Now we just need to hook up the existing UI text that we created to the public variable we just created in our script. That way Unity knows what text to update. So let's take our coin text and drag it into this slot. Now with that complete, let's press play and take a look to see if this is working. 
As we can see, our player is able to collect coins and have that value reflected in the UI, so mission accomplished. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.